Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint Morning Glow working on 11 by 14 double primed stretched canvas using light ultramarine blue, white, a filbert brush, and a liner brush. I'll post all of the supplies needed for today's painting in the description below. I'm going to start by putting some of the blue on top of the canvas and some white and we're going to start blending that all around the top for the sky. After painting straight across the canvas, I'm now going to start painting diagonally on a slant, making the shape of the sky turn downwards. And I'm going to leave little pockets of white for our clouds. Leaving it a little bit darker on the top of that blue. Making sure you wash your brush out quite well. Put that aside and take some of your acrylic gold metallic paint. This one I really, really love. And I am going to start painting diagonally and then lines coming towards me in the foreground. These will be the shadows from those trees. And they're going to be skinnier way off in the distance and then wider as they come more into the foreground. That really creates perspective in a painting. So I'm going to keep building it up and adding enough gold so that I get a really nice shimmer and color. Now without washing my brush, I'm going to take some of the black paint, mix it a little bit in with the gold, and I'm going to start laying down the base for my bushes and trees that are way up, way back there, tapping lightly. So make sure you do blend it in with gold. You don't want it to be solid black. The only thing that's going to be straight black in this painting are the tree trunks and some of the branches. So I am painting wet on wet so that this black is blending in with the gold. Again, going with that same shape, smaller in the distance towards the horizon, and then it gets wider into the foreground. This creates for a really dramatic shadow effect in a painting. So now I've got sap green and my cadmium yellow. I'm going to just start dabbing it, squeezing it out onto the canvas. Wash all that black out of my brush, dry it off first, and then start picking up that yellow and lightly layering it over part of the gold. This will give us that really warm, sunny feel to the painting. And then I'm going to pick up some of the green and start tapping it lightly into that yellow. And I have a lot of green down there, so I'm going to pick it up and use it for my trees. And pull it over part of the shadows as well. Okay, now I'm going to begin these trees. So the base color will be this green. I'll get the basic shapes that I want and the amount of trees and some of the branches and then I'll build it up with black later on. Now you can use a liner brush if you want to be a little bit more careful but we are going to be uh, painting over a lot of these branches later on with the leaves. 
So I'm not too careful at this point. I just want to get the basic composition in here. And I'll wash out my brush and I'm going to switch over to my longest liner brush that I have and go right into that black, pulling into that wet sap green. And now I can start pulling in some skinnier branches more easily. We've got those larger ones there and the big tree trunks. And now we can do all those smaller, finer detail branches. So we'll wash out that liner brush and then we'll take a small mop brush. Don't get it wet. You're going to tap into that green because I still have quite a bit down there to work with. And just start tapping around wherever you want to have your leaves. Add some on the top. Don't make it all solid though. You want to have those little pockets of light and sky that you can see through them. Now directly onto my brush, I'm squeezing more of that cadmium yellow. And I'll add that on top of parts of the green to change up the tone and warm it up. So you can see all the trees and bushes on either side of the canvas go up on a slant or in a little bit bigger, and then they get smaller and smaller and smaller towards the very center of the canvas where we have that large tree and that's where our sun is going to be shining through. This also helps to create perspective. And I'm just tapping in a little bit here and there to create a texture and make it seem as if there's um, some tall grass, maybe little flowers, Just want it to feel like it's a field of gold. And now I'm adding the yellow and the gold together. You can add a little bit of white as well. I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of that black that I accidentally picked up. a few more branches and I'm still using my filbert brush for this so I just want to sort of tidy up all these lines around the trees and the shadows Okay, and with a clean filbert brush, titanium white, and that yellow, I'm going to dab it right in between where those trees start in the distance where it's going to be the brightest from the sun. And then pull and flick softly, taking more of the white, making sure your brush is really clean first. I'm going to layer just a little bit of this shimmery gold over. Okay, back to my liner brush. I'm going to add a few more little squiggly branches in here. And picking up a little bit of water in between really helps to loosen that paint out of the brush. And it makes it so much easier to paint branches when you add that water.
Okay, now the filbert brush, it's clean. I've tapped into a little bit of my gold and I'm gonna start adding this for my next layer and then a little bit of white. This is building up our soft, warm gold glow from the sun. Okay, after I finish this, I'm going to wash my brush out really well, switch over to my mini fan brush, get it wet. I'm going to take white and gold, and I'm going to barely touch that canvas and lightly flick in different directions to make it look like tall grass. And I've still got lots of paint on my brush, so what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of water, and that will help loosen that paint out freely and create lots of wispy little pieces of grass. And I'll just continue doing this till I achieve the amount that I want. Uh, you can also add a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, Which I'm going to do and just add right in between these trees here. So more yellow. And wash that out, take my filbert. I'm going to wipe off a little bit of the paint right here because it's too thick and wet and I want to have my sun rays going right through there and that won't be that won't be able to work if I'm picking up black all the time. So I place white in the middle and I lightly pull and flick out that white paint softly and then you get those really nice translucent hazy sun rays now if you get a little bit of wet paint that you don't want just take it off and go over it again you can dry your painting off first but I kind of like the the blurry look almost picking up a little bit of that green as you can see it just kind of gives it that magical dreamy blurry look so that's why I'm not drying my painting off first but I definitely don't want to have like big globs of black paint because that's just gonna ruin the whole painting but if it's a little bit wet in some spots that can work to your benefit now I'm taking my large mop brush it is dry and I'm Barely, it looks like I'm pushing hard, but I'm not. I'm barely touching that canvas and softly twirling it around in little circles and dusting to give it a little bit more of a blurry background look. If I soften the outside of the painting, it helps to draw our eyes into the center even more where we have that beautiful sun glowing. Back to a clean liner brush and more gold paint. I'm going to add some more little highlights and shimmer and little flicks of grass whatever you want if you want to add a few little daisies or um, whatever some flowers in the foreground you can do that I just wanted to keep it um, fairly simple for you guys today now I'm mixing cadmium yellow with the gold I'm just going to add more of this yellow and gold wherever I want more of that warm, rich color. Really want to feel the sun and the warmth in this painting. So I'm going to add it back here. And the gold metallic paint is such a nice way to create uh, that warm, sunny feeling in a painting. 
And when the light hits it from all angles, it will uh, create a, a nice shimmer. So I'm going to wash that out now. And I'm going to switch over to my filbert brush again. I'm going to pull off of that gold and flick. Now I'm going to pick up some white and I'll flick over that again. And remember when you're creating these sun rays that you're not pushing too hard. And okay, right here I picked up a little bit of black paint that I thought was fairly dry. So I'm, you'll see how I correct this. I take it off, wipe the excess off on the towel, and then I pull and flick. We'll add a wider section of that sun ray in the corner. Now with a liner brush, yellow and white, mix the two together. I'm going to add a few little really bright highlights here where the sun's going to be hitting these pieces of grass. Or little flowers. And then I'm going to add a touch of it right here in the very back where that sun will be hitting it and it'll be the brightest. And what I also want to do is add a few shadow pieces in here of grass. So I'm going to take my yellow and sap green water to help flow out of my brush and add a few little flicks and lines in here. I almost feel like there's too much lines in the foreground, so I'm going to soften it a little bit and just flick over it. Light little flicks back and forth. Add a little bit of yellow and white right here with a liner brush. Again, I picked up a little bit of that black and green, so I'm just going to sweep it off with a clean brush. Come in with a little bit of black. I want to have a really nice contrast, but keep it really calm and easy on the eyes at the same time. It's important to think about the mood and the feeling you want in a painting while you're working on it and not to forget about that. So just yellow and white right now. So for the next little bit, I'm just going to keep building up and working on these rays. Um, and then a little bit later, I'm going to add some of the blue that we used for the sky, that light ultramarine blue, and we'll incorporate a little bit of that, little hints of it here and there in the rays and in the foreground for the shadows. And on some of those trees too, it'll look really, really pretty. That way we tie all the colors in together.
Okay, so right here, I picked up a little, just a little bit of that blue. And I'm gonna wash my brush out in between each time I do this in case I pick up some of the green and some of the black, because that will really change the tone of it. Okay, I wanna add a few little flicks of it here in the foreground where there'd be a different tone of a shadow. And then over here on this sun ray, it doesn't look quite soft enough, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and pull that out. A little bit more white. Okay, back to the liner brush with that blue. Add a few little hints of it back in these trees. And then on the end of that sun ray, we'll flick and then blend it out. Okay, I think those sun rays look really pretty. I love that little touch of blue that we added. And as I finish up the last details in this painting, I'm using my filbert brush again and that cadmium yellow with a little bit of white. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this video and this painting today and you've learned some great little tips and techniques. Uh, give this video a like, leave a comment below, and please subscribe to my channel for more. You can also head over to my Patreon page and sign up for lots more. So happy painting everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!